Thank you for these well, uh, very warm uh, welcome remarks on behalf of the president. So now, since we now have a master of ceremony, I'm going to be, uh, I will present myself. I'm the first uh, one speaking today uh, as you follow in the agenda. Again, for those uh, who just arrived, my name is Juvelkis Montalvo. I'm the head executive director. And let me go very quickly and change to the presentation that is right here already. Uh, and and today, I will be definitely uh, talking about the services that HEADS provide free of charge to all of our member institutions and you, students of those institutions, uh, could benefit from. But first of all, uh, let me uh, present to you the objectives of my presentations are, first of all, uh, give you a summary of the HEADS student services encouraging to promote the services among your peers because all those services are, are here, but uh, if you don't know where to find it, definitely you cannot use it. And we would like you as leaders of your student organizations at your, at your institutions to help us promote those services among your peers and also your family, anyone who could benefit from this because it's not uh, limited to for our institutions only. And uh, finally, we want to have at the end an open discussion to, to share your feedback and ideas. And also in the evaluation form, you will have also space to give us some recommendations. So please uh, do so. And let me t tell you that we have the hashtag for the event, heads events. So if you want to take pictures or, or, or share anything that uh, uh, you like or, or anything you may want to share in the, if you have a Twitter account, you can use that hashtag so we can uh, have this information from you. And then, uh, first of all, uh, it was, uh, I was surprised when uh, a hot maker was talking about that because my presentation starts exactly with those data that says that the percentage of the global population with higher education is only, uh, based on a Harvard research uh, last year, 6.7% uh, of the global population. So you definitely are uh, a privilege uh, uh, of having this opportunity. And we in HEADS uh, wants you to make this uh, very successful. And that's wha what, uh, why we are doing this kind of events to help you being successful on, on your academic goals. And sometimes people think that the United States position among the best educated countries is number one, but it's not. What position, position do you think U.S. made in, you know, in the most educated countries? Do you want to guess? What? 20? No, 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 not that bad. <laughs> Seven? Uh, close, close. Higher, higher. Eight? Oh, no, no. What? Which one? No, 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 that bad, no. It's not the first one. The first one is Canada with 51 percentage of their population, followed by Israel with 46, then followed by Japan, 45. Five and then USA with 42% of their population have uh, a degree uh, in, in, in the countries uh, based in, uh, in an article that I read in CNN. So it's not that bad, but it's not the, one, the first one. So definitely we have a, a space to in, in improve in terms of education. And also a, an article that I read from Universia that is one of the um, a, a organizations that a Santander, a Santander Bank a, from Spain a, is, is, is uh, developing in order to support higher education. They said that the difference between get a job and persist in that job depends mostly on the employee's skills like 
The first one is punctuality. And let me congratulate you because all of you were here very punctual. So you have uh, uh, one of the most uh, demanding skills uh, to persist and, and be employed uh, uh, in, the, in your future. Also capacity to learn and, and you're here in a spring break because you're eager to learn, so congratulations as well. And follow instruction, and everybody have been following instruction. So, uh, and then teamwork, effective communication, creativity, among others. But also, there's other skills that you may learn, like being bilingual, technolo technology knowledge, capacity to coordinate and solve problems, communication skills, oral and writing, work under pressure, and have emotional intelligence. So those are very important uh, skills that employers are looking in their future uh, employees. So take note of that so you can be, a, you know, uh, take advantage of those skills in order to get a, a nice job. But let me give you a very summary uh, background of what we are, and HIT stands for the, the, the name, uh, full name of HEADS is Hispanic Educational Technology Services, and we are the first bilingual consortium dedicated to serving the higher education needs of the fast-growing Hispanic communities. And our members are universities and colleges like the ones you are uh, enrolled in Puerto Rico, Florida, Kansas, New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, Texas, we also have in Massachusetts, California, and also international members in Colombia. And we also have uh, partners, corporate partners and nonprofit organizations like Blackboard, that I guess if you have taken uh, an online course, you know what Blackboard is, it's a learning management system. Uh, ETS, Educational Ten Testing Services, is one of our corporate uh, partners too. Ramona Muncela Asociados, they, they are an agency who is specialized in helping institutions to write Title V and Title III uh, grants uh, uh, for Hispanics. Oracle, everybody knows, I guess, Oracle, Cengage, uh, Consejo de Educación Superior in Puerto Rico, the Council of Education in Puerto Rico, Grupo Parada, and Rosetta Stones. And Grupo Parada, you will hear uh, at the end of the event as, uh, what they do because they're going to be one of the speakers this morning. Very interesting. And Rosetta Stone, I guess that everybody knows uh, who they are, uh, especially if you're interested in learning a new language. In heads member profiles for the last academic year, if we add all the students enrolled in all those institutions that are members of heads, we have more than half a million students, and 50% of them are in US, uh, followed by 35% in Puerto Rico. And out of these more than half a million students, 60% of them are Hispanic, and 40 are are not Hispanic. And our heads board of directors uh, is uh, the president of all your member institutions. And this picture was taken in the Fitterman Hall uh, in uh, June meeting that we held uh, two years ago. Uh, and those are the majority, uh, the major authority of our organization. They met uh, twice a year to establish and monitor, the, of course, the organization and develop new services. And in events like this with students, we definitely need your feedback to help us identify other needs that you may have in order to continue enhancing our services for you. Our mission is to promote, support, and increase the capabilities of, of member institutions in order to enhance Hispanic Latino student success and opportunities in higher education. So it's very important uh, uh, that uh, we definitely know what are your needs in order to be able to enhance and increase uh, those services that could support your academic goals. And then, our portal is heads 
dot org, and I guess that everybody, uh, I guess everybody, register online and get the opportunity to to go in the website. Uh, we have in, in our website all the news and, and all the accounts over here. You can see all the account, uh, social accounts that we have in order that you can follow us in the, the one that of your preference. And we have all the news. Uh, next week you will see the news and the pictures of these events. And, and, and we have the head student leadership showcase here show, uh, featuring us uh, our upcoming events, and we also have uh, information about about heads, about our news, and also news of our member institutions. We also have a summary here of our services, information about our membership, and a, a, a menu that goes directly to the Virtual Plaza website where your, the student placita uh, have the services that I will be explaining during my presentation. And I give you already a summary. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to interrupt me. Our online services, this is the main purpose of this presentation. We are going to, uh, as you see, you can go through the Virtual Plaza either uh, clicking on the menu in heads.org, or you can use uh, the virtualplaza.org uh, internet address as well. And this is our virtual center for academic and support resources for faculty administrators, and more importantly, for you students. And I will show you very uh, quickly uh, if if any institution want to replicate once. Uh, to replicate the services that we have here, they have to invest like more than one hundred uh, dollars, and and those all services are uh, especially the uh, the, the ones at the student placita are uh, free of charge. So that's why uh, we encourage you to to help us promote those among your colleagues. Uh, and the plaza, as a Hispanic-oriented organization, you know that the plaza for Hispanic is a place that you can come and share and, you know, and, and meet with others. And in the plaza, we have the student placita, where all the services are uh, uh, there for you, and also the faculty and administrator placita, because since we work with the uh, institutions, we work not only with students, but also with the faculty and administrators. And right there, let me start, of course, today I'm, I'm going to emphasize in the services that we have for uh, the student placitas. And let me start with one of the most popular ones, that is the Testing and Education Reference Center. And all of you receive a banner like this, right? And I gave you the code, because without the code, this is an exclusive service for all of our member institutions, first of all. And one of the most important or interesting things in this database that is this service is provided by Cengage Learning uh, and also with in, in collaboration with ETS, uh, Educational Testing Services, who are the ones who make the text like the GRE, LSAT, NCLEX, NCAT, US Citizens, they have more than 300 tests, standardized tests, that you can practice uh, totally online and I will go on uh, live so I can show you uh, how easy you can get into the database and how easy you can benefit from this. And also have military tests, auditor, real, real estate, you know, different uh, kind of, of tests. So if you have your, if you, are, if you have your tablets or your phones, you can go and log in uh, with your uh, code. If you don't have a code, raise your hand and I will give it to you. Okay, since um, we are in Man in Board of Manhattan, I will go through Board of Manhattan since they are our host. And for Board of Manhattan, you have to click, okay, but let me go back. You have to go uh, to the Student Placita, and then in the Student Placita, you have to click on the Testing and Education Reference Center, and that will take you to, to this page. Here, you can also find so, some tutorials in English 
depending on what you are interested in is and how to go to the database and, and how to get uh, the most benefit and how to browse the, the, the database. Those are very short tutorials that show you. But I will show you how, uh, live here. Then uh, you go under, United, since we have so many institutions and each one have a personal code because the president wants to know who is using the services, of course, in order to, to, to give an uh, assessment of how we are doing. Uh, uh, each institution have a different code. You have to click on the name of your institution. I'm gonna click on Board of Manhattan, as I already did, and I will go here. That take me here, and uh, there you're gonna put, you see the name of Board of Manhattan right there. You know if you click the correct one because you will see the name of your institution, and, and then I will put the, lo the code 1227 and then proceed. Okay, here you will see, although we have two different flyers for the testing and education and the career transition, both use the same code and you can uh, see it right there. In the virtual plaza, we have different pages for all the two services because they are totally different, and I will start with testing and education, and later I will show you how career transitions work, okay? So here, uh, that uh, you have two different ways to browse this. If you are a high school student, if you are more interested in college prep tools, in career tools, then you see the whole bunch there. If you are, since you are already in college, probably you are interested in graduate school, so you can find there the GMAT, the graduate school search, a very a comprehensive database of, of searching uh, schools, graduate schools. We also have a graduate sco a scholarship search, uh, the GRE, where you actually go online and practice, the LSAT if you're interested in the law school, NCAT if you're interested in medical school, and also military uh, Miller analogies, I don't know, uh, this one, we don't use it in Puerto Rico, I don't know if you use it here in, in, in the States. So it's right there also. And if you are an international student in, uh, trying to come to USA, you need to take the TOEFL or the TOEIC, and also the US citizen uh, test is right there. That's one way to browse this uh, database, but also if you wanna go and see the whole bunch of tools, you can go to, through these uh, 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 orange links. The first one is the Family College Planning Center, and there is uh, the repository of all the resources for college uh, test preparation, financial aid and resources, and planning a, have a lot of tips and a lot of information, very interesting. Let me show you, right, very quickly. I'm just giving you a, a very uh, summary because this is huge, we can be the whole day here uh, talking about this, but you can see that you can plan from grade nine, how to go, get to college, parent checks leads, advanced center articles, college search, the test preparation test, also academic skills have, and more importantly, school search and pay for college. They have more than eight, eight billion dollars. Eight billions, well, how do you say in English? Eight billion uh, available in, in scholarship, including FAXA and others. And it's very uh, interesting that if sometimes when you are pursuing master's and doctor's degree, it's very difficult to find scholarship, but here you can find a lot of different scholarship for master's and doctor's degree. And also <clears throat> have a tuition cost finder, financial aid, literal, literacy quiz, half an hour analyzer uh, that help you uh, find how much money you need in order to get to the college that you want to and have a lot of information and also resume for a, a resume builder with templates to help you creating a resume for your college application. So have all these uh, services, let me go back. Do you, have, do you want me to go deep in one of these? Or 
well, you know already where to find it. So you will, I invite you, since you already have the code, you can do it in your home, whatever you have access to a computer. A online practice test is the complete list here, right here, and let me go and see, since we're gonna have Jennifer talking later about US citizenship and all, everything, and this is the shortest one. Let me show you how the test looks like, US citizenship, and how, when you finish the test, how the database scored the test and, t and let you know how well you did. Okay, let me see. You, since you, if you're new in the database, you need to register. If you is re are registered now, uh, but I think I have, let me see if that take my, let me see it in, in that database, this work. See. And hold it. Let me see if it's the one that I have. The Turk. If I put something back. Okay. Ah, okay. Do we better? Okay. But the registration is very, uh, get registered in the database is very easy. And when you register, it's very important uh, that you keep in a safe place the, uh, because if you lost uh, this user and password, I cannot help you to get, get it. So you need to register again. And every search, every test, every score, everything that you had done in the database, you will lose it. So it's important that you keep the user and password safe. Okay, let me see, gmail.com. What a mix. Okay, let me see if that works. Isen, please enter your bar. But I already did. Okay, I think this this is not working here. So I, I would no. I will register then. It's very, so to show you how, how it is. Email address UIPR at gmail.com. And you can, if you wanna try it, you can do it in your cellulars or in your tablets. Re enter. Ay, Dios mío, can, I'm writing mail, mm. but my gmail.com. Gmail.com, I've never seen. Ver at gmail.com. Okay. Password. Yeah. yeah, because I'm already assist. Well, password. También. Kids. Ocho. Okay. It's kind of tricky when you, well, my name is not that common. Good. Uh, Alberto. Alberto. See, it's very easy, and then it's a challenge question, uh, and then continue. And then you already are there, and um, let's see how the test is doing. I'm gonna do it very quickly. I'm gonna start. You have. 30 minutes for 20 questions. We have three different versions. I'm gonna do it very without, without uh, looking at the questions, just to show you how it gonna look when you finish the test, when you score, okay? Whatever. Seven to go. Uh, let me score already. Yeah, I wanna score. Okay, when you finish and you score, you say, if, if, if you are taking the GRE that is really long, you can save it, the, the parts, and then you can resume when you're coming back if you don't have the, the time to complete it in one time. 
But when you finish, you press a uh, score, and then it will show you the review, and it will tell you, <laughs> in my case, <laughs> that I have only one correct, and the others were incorrect, and those I didn't answer. And if you want to check why it was incorrect, it says that in order to vote, a person must be 18 years of, of age, of older, and be a, the correct answer was C, citizen. So it, it let you know how, how to uh, improve. And this is with all the tests. It's, it's very interesting the way that you can learn. And you don't have to pay for you know, practice tests and anything because you have everything there. And let me go. Do you get it? Anything have a question? Anybody have a question? No? OK. And then you can also have, finally, let me show you that you can also have online the ebooks to get prepared the US citizen for example is here so I can read the book and be able to answer the questions correctly and when I take the real test I definitely will score better and you can either a uh, download it uh, here or you can also print it uh, but as screen students I guess you will read it online so you have the test right there Okay, and that's a that's a, 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 a summary of what you will find in the Testing and Education Reference Center. Now let me go back and enter again to the info track, so we can go uh, to uh, show you the career testing education. That probably for you is more interesting because you are almost finishing and you are interested in getting a job. And here you can find the job positions available at your area. This is the career transition. Here you can also sign in a create, and create an account. So when you find everything that you do, if you find a, a you can, if you prepared a resume or, or you find a job that you are interested in, you can uh, apply online. Uh, the seat, uh, uh, to find a job, you can put the city, state, or seat code, and it will tell you all the different options that uh, available positions that are right here. What is the seat code here in New York? One? One, zero, zero something, right? S zero, 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 ¿qué? Cualquiera? Huh? Seis? Three zeros. Uh -huh. Six. Okay, but let's see what happens when I do search. And then you can ask for all jobs. You can also narrow the search for job titles. You can also put internship. Also, this one, that this word is too difficult for me. I will not intend to read it. Temp and entry levels. So right here, you will see all the, we have more than 10 pages of positions. And if, for example, you are interested in this one, administrator, director, didactic internet, uh, internship program, you click there, you will see all the requirements that this, uh, who is the recruiter, right? is the New York Presbyterian Well Cornell Medical Center in New York, where it's located, and what is the, pos the requirements of the position, and you will see at the end a view or apply for job, and you can also apply for a job right there. So, and everything that you do there, you can, uh, okay, I just, uh -huh. you can uh, add to my jobs, if you have an account, add to my jobs, and then you can, you can just browse it uh, and then review it uh, later. Uh, it's very interesting. If you want to see internships, you just check, uh, check here and do search again. And it says that I have a lot of intern here, more than 10 pages as well. Summer internships, all of these are here. Okay? Uh, if we go back to home page again, we also have uh, a template to write resumes, very interesting way, because the way that they do it is that they have resume samples 
very interesting. And if uh, they have it uh, divided by uh, the, the, how do you call it, uh, the department you are working or the, 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 the topic you are working, and it tell you, uh, if give you a example, if you have little experience, some experience, lots of experience of uh, bullet point examples. So it's very interesting the way that they, they have those samples to help you, and then you have the template to buy the, I mean, to start uh, creating your resume. Also, we have uh, to, uh, templates to write a cover letter, have a very interested uh, area with tips and advice, uh, talking about how to apply for a job, education and training, internships, job skills, career strategies, interviewing, negotiation. So I have everything to do with uh, how to be successful when you apply for a job. And also have the interview simulator that give you like a case and a fat voice. Okay, hold it. Stop it. that give you a, an example of, a, of a, an interview and give you uh, 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 information about the job position and then start uh, the avatar, start asking you questions and you have uh, select, uh, multiple options to select and depends the uh, answers uh, for the question that you select at the end of the interview give you a, uh, recommendations on how well you did and what a areas you can improve in order to be successful in an interview. And it's very interesting. And you can practice this anytime you want. And I also have broad career paths, assess your career interests. If you're in, not really sure if you're in the correct, uh, correct uh, or right career uh, path for you, you can go there and have a test in order to see how, how and find more information in order to be sure. And also, if you already have a career and want to explore a new career, help you to match experience uh, of if you have experience and no degree, have experience with new careers, and also have, as well as the Testing and Education Reference Center, a search for schools and programs. So that's uh, as somebody, somebody have a question about this? Those two services are in, listed there and you only need to know where to click, where to put the code and you are right there in the, in the website. Let me continue with the presentation right here. I already, again, this is exclusive for our member institutions but feel free to give if you have a cousin, if you have a neighbor that is interested and need to take a test, please share. You can share because the access is unlimited. You can share the code with anyone, and especially with your students uh, at your institutions. I already showed you the career transition, uh, and let me continue with. I don't want to pass. Um, have 15 minutes late. We also have in the student placita the English as a second language e writing models for those like me that English is not their first language and sometimes have uh, problems with that. Uh, this is a free of charge access, access, excuse me, to English as a second language tutorials. And let me show you very quickly how, how nice those looks. I guess that in your institutions you have some of the uh, these, but uh, this can complement what you already have in place. And in order to access those uh, that give you, this is um, this service is provided by Miami Dade College. Uh, it's one of our founding member institutions, and they uh, put it in the virtual plaza so not only their student but everyone could benefit from it. And this is a summary of how they do it. Uh, did it, excuse me, and you just click here at the end to go. If you want a more about the project, uh, there is the uh, summary of the project, the personnel who work in the project, the activities, but in this one, the curriculum uh, area, you will see that they have uh, different levels of e writing. Uh, and in level one, for example, is as simple as the verb be, and there is no, there is, you know, you just go and browse in whatever you have problems, you can go and, and and see how it looks, it's very easy, and have lectures and activities, writing exercise, because remember that this is for writing properly when you are 
you know, studying uh, English correctly and, and have a lot of activities. And also, besides the, those, uh, they also have the reading tutorials, word processing tutorials, and also for faculty, how some examples on how faculty are using those tutorials to help uh, their students. So feel free. This is you don't need a code. This is open because it's is paid with uh, federal money, so it's accessible for everyone. Okay, and then let me continue with the presentation. Any questions? No. Then, uh, well, that's uh, um, a screen screen in case of the internet fail. We also have the bilingual entrepreneurship courses. Uh, some of you want to make their own company. Some are interested in uh, or are in business uh, careers. Yeah, you do. But here, uh, Kustang University is one of our member institutions in Pennsylvania. They have a very uh, one of the more comprehensive uh, labs of. Uh, courses, videos in English and Spanish of non-credit courses to pre help you prepare a, a make, uh, be an entrepreneur or, or make your own company. And let me show you very quickly. I'm going live again so I can show you how it looks and how the videos sounds. And this again is open. Here you go to the placita, clicking in uh, ESL excuse me, bilingual entrepreneurship courses. And in the first link, where that it says for a complete list of on-demand online courses, visit, you click there, and that takes you to the Small Business Development Center of Kustang University. And <clears throat> in English, you will see the videos that are divided per topics. But if you feel more comfortable in Spanish, you click in Spanish, and then you will see the whole, the, the, the complete list of the, of the courses. But let me show you in English, I guess you prefer, a developing, developing a business plan. You don't need to log in, but they need to continue, uh, to continue offering free online materials. They need you to ask a very uh, brief survey that ask what state do you live on, in, excuse me, I put Puerto Rico, that for internet we are a state, as you may know, but we are not. 00778 is my zip code, how many individuals, and what is the total host income, I'm gonna put whatever. Right there, and then you just press submit, and you are already in the course. Welcome to developing a business plan powered by Virtual Advisor. To navigate through the workshop, click on the Continue and, and Previous buttons. It's the, the, the video explaining you how to click browse and how to well, go back and previous continue and show you that I have two different Welcome topics. To developing a business plan. And you can, two. if you already know powered and you want to only advisor. see the financial data, At but you go right there and then you, you know, you can manage the video out on your One own page. So, and the, the English is very new, neutral as well as the Spanish. So I invite you to go and Balance take advantage sheet, of this and have more than 40 analysis, uh, courses in English and more than 40 in Spanish. Cash flow. Okay? If you're not a fun okay, you can shut up, please. And then let me continue. I'm almost finishing. And then, oh, that's a screen screen if the internet doesn't work. Uh, and also, we have a lot of tools and resources, a repository of tools and resources for those students who are taking online uh, courses or hybrid courses for the online environment. And, and, and I invite you to go and browse it, have also a free uh, online courses that you can register and try it before you enroll or pay for an online courses to see if that's the kind of modality that fits your needs and have a lot of resources to help you be successful in this uh, modality. As well, we have tool and resources for traditional environment that is face-to-face. -face. And, uh, and, and you can uh, browse later a lot of services that we have. 
And also we have, uh, besides the $8 billion that you can find in the Testing and Education Reference Center, a uh, pay for college area, you also can find a financial uh, aids that are a uh, showcase or are offered by our member institutions. And you will see the whole list of our member institutions that offer these kind of uh, scholarships. And finally, uh, also we have a new uh, a, a new internship area that uh, in the Placita that you will see all the internships in our member institutions that are uh, available for you. So, so far, do you like the head student Placita services that I presented to you that sounds pertinent and useful? Great, but I invite you please to use it only is a click away at the student placita and you already know how to do it and please help us share uh, then with your classmates and friends again uh, those services are especially the one with the code although it's exclusive for, for our member institutions we don't mind if you share it with the whole community because what we want is that they, the, the students could benefit uh, from this and also, uh, you have an evaluation form at the end. We will definitely uh, ask you to help us with your recommendations, but also if you know of any other additional service that uh, is in your institution or outside your institution that could be showcased uh, public in the virtual plaza, please send the information to info at head so we can add it in our virtual plaza. And, uh, we are uh, in Puerto Rico, when we uh, made the event, we invite uh, some students to uh, be part of the Heads Advisory Committee uh, and the benefits of, and we are making the invitation as well here in USA because we already have one advisory committee in Puerto Rico, but we also want the, the, the feedback and the expertise of students here in the states. And the benefits of joining this Heads Advisory Committee is, first of all, opportunity to participate at the Heads Board of Director meetings. And we're having one in June here at BNCC, but this time at the, at the Federman Hall uh, at the end of June. And you as students could have the opportunity to be there with the presidents and giving you directly the ideas, their, your needs, your interests, so they can take notes and definitely uh, help us, Bella, find a way to help you. Uh, also, you can, uh, one of the main roles of this advisory student advisory committee is to help us coordinate the events and projects to support your needs, events like this. This is the first one, uh, and, and with your expertise, we hope that the second one will be better. And also, uh, you can include your experience on your resume, and also you can ask me, and I, 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 and I can ask the president of any institution that you may be interested in giving you a recommendation letter when you finish your um, uh, degree. A, to, for a job or if for a scholarship or for whatever you need a recommendation letter, if you are part of the Heads Advisor Committee, you can ask for that. And also, a, the only thing that you may do in order to be a, a considered and selected for the Heads Advisory Committee is send your resume and a letter explaining why, why you think you are the best candidate to be part of this committee. Así que in Puerto Rico we select five out of around eight students, five students, and they are eager to know the ones from the states because at the end we want them to also connect with you and, and probably take you, uh, the, those students from US to Puerto Rico and bring the student from Puerto Rico here so you can meet each other. So uh, send a letter, uh, no later than, uh, May uh, 5 if the, the date that we're putting in as a deadline, 
because we need to coordinate and invite you for the board meeting that's going to be at the end of June, the ones that we selected. And this is the current student advisory committee. Those are, this is a photo when uh, they were at the board of directors, they received a certificate and everything, you know, uh, formalizing their appoint, uh, appoint, appointment as the member of this committee. And the one in the left, my left, is uh, Manuel Fernos. He is the chairman of the board. He's the president of the Inter-American University in Puerto Rico. And they have a space here. It's in Spanish right now, but when we have the committee from the US, we are going to also have an a English a, a part. Also, um, also, another opportunity uh, of these uh, students is to help uh, represent heads in international events. And that was me with one of the members of the Puerto Rico Committee, Student Committee. We were in Guadalajara, Mexico, in the HACO International Conference, provide, uh, promoting the services. And that's another benefit uh, of being part of this uh, executive committee, uh, excuse me, uh, advisory committee. Also, we want to know about your projects. Right now, this website in Spanish, but we will translate it to English. And we want you, if you have any innovative projects that take, uh, have to do with technology, we want you to uh, submit uh, only your name, uh, email, and then a brief a description because uh, we definitely want to know about these projects. And in the next Student Leadership Showcase, in best, uh, instead of me talking on other speakers talking, the ones who will be talking will be the students with those innovative projects. But we need to know, first of all, and evaluate those projects in order to select you and invite you, okay? As que, all, all this information is in the Student Leadership Corner. And finally, follow, follow us at our social media accounts. As uh, again, we have on Twitter right now, Heads Events is the hashtag for this event. Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, Pinterest, and Tumblr. And we also have a YouTube channel, and this uh, event has been recorded, so you can, we can upload all the presentations of the speakers, so you can use it uh, as a reference in, in the future. You will receive the link of the videos when we upload it next week, and also you can share it uh, with your students at your colleges or with your colleagues. And this is a highlight of the event held in Puerto Rico. In Puerto Rico, we uh, expect around 400 because we have, here we only have eight uh, institutions who are member of HEADS, but in Puerto Rico we have 17. Uh, but at the end, more than 600 students uh, arrived, and we have uh, a blast with, with them. It was very interesting. And at the end, uh, uh, we want you to get uh, with them, you know, get everybody together uh, and, and continue enhancing these kind of services for you. For more information, again, uh, this is my email, info at heads.org. Uh, my phone in Puerto Rico, our headquarters are located in, in Ana Jimenez University System in San Juan. And thank you for your uh, kindly attention. And if you have any doubts, at the end, we can definitely uh, talk. 